This Youth Generation, Dion Price, Life of a Youth Worker. This episode is dedicated to the graduating class of 2022. <laughs> Welcome to This Youth Generation, working to improve the quality of life for youth in our community. I'm your host, Dion D. Price. Author but it's my pleasure to congratulate the high school and college graduates of 2022. I may miss your ceremony, but I'm here to encourage you and to help you pursue your dreams and ambitions. But after the celebrations and after the parties, playtime is over. From now on, it's chess, not checkers. Your decisions from this point forward are critical. After high school and college, the stakes are a bit higher. You'll be competing for everything from this point forward in your adulthood. I hope you've developed a healthy competitive spirit. Do not delay in planning your future. In fact, the sooner the better. Set your course. The sooner you set the course, the better. Utilize your time wisely and be careful not to allow your summer activities to distract you from your goals and objectives. Playtime is over once again. I understand your joy of finally completing high school and college and your desire to break free and get loose and embrace your much anticipated freedom. However, let me caution you to exercise good judgment and wisdom with the places you go, the things you do, and the company you keep. Remember, we're only one bad decision away from losing everything, all that you've worked for up to this point. Of course, this is an obtainable goal, graduating high school particularly, and college is the next step secondary education, graduate school, whatever it is, there are new challenges and obstacles that have caused many students to fall short of reaching these goals. Those of you who have endured have demonstrated the ability and the aptitude to stick to it and to maintain and to take care of business, right? So I commend you for that. You have endured what was probably the most challenging four years of your life, right? You have just completed the first step in your career endeavors. Now I said career, of course, high school and college, most job or career direction require at least a high school, in some cases, a college degree. So this is the first step in completing the step towards your career. Some of you, that's probably the last thing on your mind, prioritizing, thinking about a job or a career. Most of the younger ones is probably the last thing on your list of thinking is a career. Your priority right now is probably just upgrading your iPhone. <laughs> but I encourage you to brace yourself for you're about to enter an extremely challenging and competitive adult reality. So what was once an environment filled with plenty of opportunities and regardless of your choice of direction, be it job, career, grad school, or what have you, we're now seeing unprecedented obstacles over every career direction. They're there. But there are challenges and you need to be ready for those challenges. If your first option is not immediately available, whether it's a job or career direction or the grad school or whatever it is, do not get discouraged. Don't let that thanks but no thanks letter kill your spirit. You just simply consider other promising options, which may be trade school, college, community, or an alternate school. There are plenty of other options out there. Just keep shaking the tree until you find your niche. Whatever direction you choose, Pursue it with integrity. I also encourage you to be an active participant in the direction of your life. Explore different opportunities to find your most prevalent skill set. We all have them. What feels most comfortable for you? What are you at ease doing? What do you have a passion for? We're in critical times that require careful and diligent decisions. So explore every avenue in order to find your niche, your passion, or your life's work. You may have to leave your comfort zone and take the road less traveled. Don't be afraid to relocate, see the world, explore the world, and find yourself. Remember, your learning and education don't end after you cross that stage and receive that diploma. In fact, it's just getting started. Anything that's not growing is dead, right? So I know we're not growing physically anymore, but we're growing emotionally, spiritually, personally, and intellectually. Be a life learner. Finally, let me share this with you. One of the best skills you can develop to help you succeed is one that you won't find on any college or high school schedule. It is interpersonal skills. Remember that. 
the more you're able to maintain and retain personal and professional relationships, those human connectability skills, make people feel good around you. You are building valuable resources in human. The most valuable resource in the world is human beings. So the better you are at cultivating human relationships, the more successful you will be. That is, in my opinion, the most, most successful skill you can develop is interpersonal skills. Remember, the most valuable thing you have is time. So use it wisely and be careful who you spend it on and what you spend it on. So class of 2022, congratulations. I wish you well. Just a thought, just a message. This youth generation, Dion Price, life of a youth worker, just a humble servant trying to make a difference. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this program, download the podcast or subscribe to the channel. We appreciate your support.